guys, what's going on? Welcome to JSpeak. This week we continue our discussion on pedals. So last week we took a look at my board and my board has a few dirt pedals on it. I use the MXR El Torino Overdrive, which acts as a boost and an overdrive. I currently have it set to the boost function. The OD is good. Actually, if I could get another one for cheap, I might actually do it, but I've got a lot of different dirt options, so there's really no need. I highly recommend that pedal. Next up by Mad Professor, I've got two pedals on my board. The Fire Red Fun which again, I'm considering it a dirt in this case because it's fuzz, but it's kind of like a fuzz pedal that's not really a fuzz pedal, but it kind of is a fuzz pedal. I think Mad Professor bills it as a fuzz for people that don't like fuzz, which they tend to do a lot of that. He says this is a pedal for people that like phaser but don't like phaser and then we also had the little green wonder now the little green wonder when i picked it up i was thinking it was more along the lines of like a tube screamer kind of deal because that's what i read about it um it's not necessarily my total goal in all of it but it does provide good dirt now i will say that i do have other options i preferred that is more of a heavier type tone to what i was currently using on my board when i was playing p and w so that's kind of why it's stuck other pedals that are not on my board that i have dirt wise let's continue with the whole fuzz thing big muff op so this is the billy corgan smashing pumpkins type big muff nice small compact size nice metal casing very basic has an eq switch on it i i do confess that i don't use it a whole lot but i really like the way it sounds and i really like the controls so it stayed. Very cool pedal. Next up is a pedal, again, I got in my PNW days, and I'll have another one of those to show too, but this came highly recommended from a friend of mine, and it totally delivers. And honestly, the only reason why it's not on my board is because it's a little bit bigger, and I just, the way I had it laid out, I don't know. But I love this pedal. So maybe in a month when I'm done reviewing everything, I might change my board up. I highly recommend this. This is a nice OD. Got a lot of options for just three knobs, loudness, drive, and frequency. I did do a demo on this. You can check it out. It's a fantastic, fantastic pedal. Another one from the PNW days, JHS. It is the Morning Glory version four. Now this pedal has a couple really cool features on it. Aside from the the limited controls with three knobs, you've got volume, drive, and tone. There's also a gain switch here. And here you can do a remote gain, which I do actually have the little red pedal that you can get. So this connects to this and it acts as like a two stage. So you've got your initial gain and then like a higher gain. This pedal works really well, like real good gain just from a pedal. It sounds really good. It also has a high cut on the side, which I'd like to mention. So you can turn that on and off. Very cool pedal. Gives you a lot of option and that additional, you know, extended foot switch for it really makes it a really good buy. So if you're into ODs, if you haven't checked this out, definitely check it out. And the last dirt pedal I currently own is the Friedman Dirty Shirley. I love the Dirty Shirley amp. I kind of picked this up to compare it. It's not on my board, but it probably should be. It has a switch on the side, so you can get a tight setting by activating that switch but a little more involved as far as my other pedals go, but you've got a three band EQ, a presence control, volume and gain, and you can get all of the tasty, dirty, Shirley drive tones out of this pedal. Freeman makes incredible amps that translate to incredible pedals. So that is a look at my drive pedals. I will say I've had lots of different drives in the past, but these are the ones that have currently stuck around. Like most things, amps, guitars, you go through phases, you get it, you give it away, whatever the case. I'd love to know what dirt pedals you're currently using. Um, do you have any of the same ones? Have you used any of the ones I mentioned? So what's in your pedal locker? You got any cool drives you want to share? Um, next week, we'll take a look at modulation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.